In this video, let's talk about subsequences because it's it's very important to know about subsequences and their conver convergence. Now, subsequence, as the name suggests, subsequences are sequences which are made of the terms among the terms of you know the sequence, original sequence. Okay, so if we have we have sequence a n, okay n greater than or equal to 1, we have certain, you know, we have certain uh, terms in it, a1, a2, a3 and so on and so forth. So, a subsequence will be a sequence which is made up of terms within, within this sequence, okay, terms within this sequence. The study of it is important because, you know, it gives us information about the sequence. If in case there is a sequence where I can't see all the terms and determine whether the sequence is convergent or not. What I could probably do is I could pick up certain subsequences from that sequence and see whether these subsequences, okay, and see whether these subsequences A and K, uh, they are moving towards the same limit. If they all are moving towards the same limit, that means the sequence will also move towards that limit. If they are moving towards different, different limits, that means the sequence has to be, has to be divergent, okay. So, we will now look at the formal definition of a subsequence. Formal definition of subsequence, let a n n greater than or equal to 1 be a sequence and n1 less than n2 less than nk, okay, and so on and so forth. So, this is a strictly increasing sequence of natural numbers basically, okay, a strictly increasing sequence of natural numbers then the sequence made out of them then the sequence a n a n a n one a n uh, a n two so on and so forth a n k okay this is called the subsequence this is called the subsequence of the sequence a n and it is denoted as a n a small subscript k here where k is greater than or equal to 1. So, some common example we will take. Let us take the sequence n natural numbers, okay, a n equals to n, so a n, n greater than or equal to 1. So, basically we are talking about natural numbers 1, 2, 3 and so on and so forth. Now, I can clearly see I can have a subsequence say 2k that is the subsequence of even numbers it's a subsequence of even numbers even natural numbers so what do i have here a2 equals to 2 a4 equals to 4 a6 equals to 6 and so on and so forth okay so, this is a subsequence. Now, I can also have a subsequence of even numbers. So, I can have 2k minus 1. So, 2k minus 1 will be 1. Okay, a1 equals to 1, a2, sorry, a3 equals to 3 and so on and so forth. Okay. So, this is, these are all odd numbers. Now, both these are subsequences. Both are subsequences of the same sequence a n and both 
will not converge to the same limit. They both are leading towards different limits, okay? Because you have or even here and odd here. So hence this sequence is divergent. Also because they're not bounded, so that's another thing. Okay, so that's one example. And similarly, you can have more examples. Similarly, we can have a sequence 1 by n. In 1 by n, what will happen? I can take the sequence of odd. So, 2k minus 1. Okay, so we will have a3 as 1 by 3, a5 as 1 by 5 and so on and so forth. So, this is a subsequence of 1 by n. Similarly, you can have a 2k again here. You will have, you know, again 1 by 2, 1 by 4 and so on and so forth. So, this is what we mean by a subsequence.